Welcome everybody to my first video and my first script on this channel. Um, so today I'm going to be showcasing you a script I made for Rate My Avatar. Now this isn't specifically catered towards um, uh, FE animations. I don't really do that thing. Um, this isn't about that. This is about the actual game itself, you know, having a script for it. So I made one. It's pretty simple. It's nothing too uh, difficult, but um, right here, this is the script. You'll find this um, down in the description or down in this link I'll put right now it's just this link just go to this link and you'll see the direct script here the only thing that's missing is a your key now just head over to this link to get your key and I put a get key tutorial down in the description if you need help getting your key but if you don't um, it's pretty much as simple as just going to this link in the link vertize and pressing all the buttons in link vertize whatever and then you'll be redirected to your actual key. Once you have your key, paste it right here. And yeah, but yeah, that's it. So pretty much uh, just execute it once you're here. By the way, this only works for snaps at the moment. I will be adding support for scriptware, but I think those are the only two executors I'll be adding support for. Um, but if you have those two ex uh, executors, um, you can use my script. So yeah, so basically I'm going to be showcasing the script, like I said, um, about all these functions that I wrote. Um, and if you don't want to watch this video, it's just me explaining it, don't worry. Um, I added an FAQ section right over here in this button, which you can read for the typical questions you might have. And yes, by the way, your key does expire every three days. So I feel like that's enough time um, and that, that shouldn't be too annoying. Uh, I think three days is more than enough. But um, yeah, you will need to get a new key the moment you generate your key. After three days, it will expire. So yeah. Um, so first section is auto booth. This will automatically claim a booth for you once it is available. Um, so this will pretty much just find a booth for you. Um, if there is no available booths, it'll wait until you pretty much have one. And don't worry, it won't lag you. I didn't run any loops, so yeah, it should be uh, good for your frames. Um, so typing effect. So how you use typing effect is pretty much just turn on. Um, as you can see, your booth will be blanked and there's a little typing thingy like that, like this, you know? <laughs> so you just type any text like this is a typing effect. And once you put, once you put your text here, it'll pretty much update here as well. So yeah, that's it. As you can see, it'll put that typing effect, but it's tagging for some reason. Um, typing effect test. By the way, it will live update, so it'll update um, the moment you actually type stuff. So yeah, typing effect. And if you want to see the text again, just press your booth. And this will only work if you put text in here. Also works for images. Um, well, not really images, but it'll use your image pretty much if you have an image display um, but that's it there's your typing effect right there um, next is blacklist now when you blacklist a player you can blacklist anyone by their display name or their username so we'll say cowgirl for this just type cowgirl lowercase or capital doesn't really matter as you can see it'll add a Jing to the blacklist and her name is D deg deg and all you have to do to unblacklist her is just type her name again so I'll just put deg <laughs> uh, yeah as you can see it's it removed her from blacklist and blacklist bypass is pretty much uh, bypassing any blacklist any blacklist that was put onto you so if someone has blacklisted you from their booth, we could pretty much test this. Can I blacklist myself? I think I can. Yeah. Okay. So this is what the blacklist looks like. You'll pretty much get um, removed from the booth. It'll get, add this square thing here. So you can see, and if you ever touch it, you'll be sent back to the center. So just turn on blacklist bypass and it'll remove that um, issue for you. So now you can, are f you're pretty much free to roam anywhere. Um, but yeah, that's it. So yeah, that's how you bypass the blacklist. Um, there shouldn't be anything too much. Click teleport key is just me teleporting anywhere you want to around the map. And on the job key, you press F and it'll pretty much teleport you to the exact position that you need to be to stand on your booth. This will work for any booth, by the way. Um, I could be in any booth and this would work. But uh, yeah, on any side this works, it'll pretty much position you to the proper position that you need to be at. Um, to be in front of your booth um, or to be behind your booth uh, but yeah that's it this is pretty much the script and some updates I'll show you some stuff that I made and how long this game is updated and uh, updates will pretty much I'll pretty much list everything here that I updated I'll put anything in here that I you know if I fix a bug or anything 
Um, but yeah, and it shows how long the game is actually updated. So you can see it's up, been updated 49 days ago. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know if you guys have any more questions you guys want to ask, but yeah, that's And then this is a live countdown, by the way. So if you rejoin, you know, this will not go back. It's uh, pretty much a live timer for when your key will expire. Yada yada yada. So you, you pretty much know when to get a new key, I guess. Um, but uh, yeah, that's it. And you can go over to this link, which is um, gavescripts.com slash supported.php, which is pretty much all the Roblox games I have made scripts for. You can go check them out and all the scripts I intend to make in the future. Um, you can suggest some down in the comments if you'd like to see your game or see me make a script for it. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. And um, Thank you for using my script.